Okay. Turn on your little food scale friend, your food scale buddy. I'm like getting washed out over here. All right. Why is this so bright? Here, keep mixing that up. Oh my God, I'm shaking the crap out of the thing. Sorry, sorry all you people making you nauseous. You guys like, like throwing up here watching this. Thanks again for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna show you a peanut butter and jelly French toast that I eat all the time. Uh, it's another low calorie, high protein meal. Uh, it'll keep you in shape, keep you on the trails. So uh, not a lot of ingredients in this one. Again, I'm using a lot of the same ingredients from the other French toast. A lot of the meals that I make, a lot of the ingredients you can use for a whole bunch of stuff. So it's basically like 10 maybe staple ingredients that I always have in my house. And you'll see that um, uh, most of the time when I'm cooking these meals, I, I use and reference the same things over and over. You're like, why do you use those? Well, they're low in calorie and you can manipulate them in a bunch of different ways to make a bunch of delicious, good food for you. So uh, these are the ingredients. So I'll show you those real quick and uh, we will uh, start the show here. Alrighty, so all of the ingredients that you're going to need are these right here. I'll show you. A lot of them are the same. So you just have some vanilla extract. You have your uh, Carb Masters uh, vanilla yogurt. So low calorie stuff. It's super low calorie. It's 70 uh, calories per serving. And you also have some uh, extra virgin olive oil. That's zero calorie. We have our sugar free jam again. Our 40 calorie uh, bread, low calorie bread, sugar free uh, syrup, egg beaters, xanthan gum. This is gonna thicken anything up a little bit, so you'll see in a second. And then PB Fit, we're gonna use as our peanut butter substitute, get that peanut butter flavor. And that is pretty much it. So just check out um, how easy this is. And you know, it's not a lot of stuff, so just uh, follow along. Don't forget your food scale. Don't. Don't do it. Don't forget it. It's important. I know. Everybody hates counting their calories and seeing what you're actually putting in your body. But if you don't do it, you're just lying to yourself and you're going to fail. You just will. You'll be a failure. And nobody wants to be a failure. So be better. All right? Here we go. And I'm gonna show you the difference between regular peanut butter versus PB Fit, the difference in calories. Um, there is a huge, huge difference. So, um, you know, don't just think, oh, it's light peanut butter or Jiffy Light or whatever, whatever it is. All of the peanut butter is super high in calorie. It's a high calorie dense food. So just keep that in mind. All right, first thing again, we're doing our egg beaters. These are egg whites, same calories as the egg whites that come in. These will just look yellow so it doesn't feel like you're eating egg whites, it tastes like you're eating egg whites. Same stuff. So just buy some of this stuff. Um, we're gonna do, uh, let's see. Don't forget to tear your food scale. Turn that bad boy on, okay? We're on milliliters, we wanna go to, say it says 46 grams is 25 calories so we're gonna go to grams on our little scale friend here and we're gonna do two servings of that there's 46 zero it out again that's one serving and we'll do another 46 two servings there you go now we got our eggs Next, I'm pretty hungry today, so I'm gonna do four pieces of bread. Oh my God, bread. You can't eat bread, it's carbs, carbs are bad. No you can, people are just dumb and don't understand what they're actually putting in their body. But what about my gluten allergy? Well, sorry, You're just that's your own problem. Even then, most people aren't even like, gluten deficient or have like a gluten allergy they just do it because they're like oh everybody says not to eat gluten stupid um so we're gonna dredge this right now here we go 
And guess what? I need a little bit more egg, so I'm gonna do a half serving. This is gonna be 23 grams of egg whites. Just enough to get this bread soaked up. Here we go. Here. And my last piece of bread in there, dredge it real mass like. Done. Okay. Here we go. We got our bread dredged in the egg beaters, egg whites. All right. So again, we're using low calorie bread. See right there, it says 40 calories. So make sure when you go to the store and all these breads, they say, oh, this is the, uh, what is it? Dave's cool guitar bread or whatever. It's got a bunch of nuts and all that stuff. All that means it's really high in calorie. Look at the back and see how much one slice is. One slice is typically around 120, can be 160. Some of them are 200 calories per slice. Per slice. This stuff that I dredged here, this little flebbly flabby piece, is 40 calories, right? So we got 160 calories for four pieces of French toast. Right? That's just the bread. It doesn't include our uh, egg whites. So that's a lot less calories than you would get with all this other crazy bread that's on the market. A lot of bad information out there. Cross-reference your information. Just because someone's a doctor, they're saying, oh, this is what you need to do, your bio microbes and all this crazy technical terms. Calories in, calories out. All that matters, that's it. Does not matter about anything else. If you're burning off more calories than what you take in, you will lose weight. Or if you want to stay the same weight, just eat the same amount of calories. Don't go in a calorie deficit, then you'll stay the same weight. Or if you want to put on weight, then add calories. Take in more calories than you're burning off, and you will gain weight. So it's super simple. Everybody tries to make it super complicated, and you just need to, what is it, uh, the acronym? Uh, keep it simple, stupid. I'm stupid. Just be stupid. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Be dumber. Be dumber and you'll lose weight. Alright? Or not. Or stay the same or gain weight. Whatever you want to do. You can do it. Just be stupid. Be dumb. Be adventure dumb. Uh, Alright, next. Alright, so now we're going to use our uh, fat free yogurt, low calorie yogurt. We're going to do two servings. So make sure you turn on your little food scale pal. Hit tear, so it's zeroed out. We're on grams. It's 70 calories per serving. There's 170 grams in a serving. So let's do 170 grams. That is all good right there. All good right there. It's uh, 170 grams. So we're good on that. Next, we're going to add some xanthan gum. So xanthan gum is a thickening agent. I use it a lot when I make protein ice cream. Uh, and I can show you that in another video too. You can eat a huge thing of ice cream. Super low calorie. Again, tastes very similar to ice cream. It's not though. Um, and we're gonna do just one, we might even just do a half a serving. We're gonna do one tablespoon, which is nine grams. So we can tear this. We're gonna add this and the PV fit all together with this to make like a peanut buttery, like cream kind of thing. gonna do nine grams so this stuff is like it really packs a punch so uh, in flavor there's not really much flavor to it it's kind of like a neutral flavor but uh, it, it, if you use a ton of it it'll like it, it thickens everything up like a ton so just be really careful you, like nine grams is not sound like a lot but it actually is it's a ton so I'm only gonna do half a serving because this stuff, like I said, it really works well and you don't need a ton of it. Like a little goes a long way. So just keep that in mind when you're using this stuff because else it'll be like, you won't even be able to like stir it. It'll get like so thick, so heavy. So a uh, little pro tip for you. All right, tear your scale again. 
Next you have our PB fit, okay? So this stuff, look in comparison to you got Jif here. Good old Jif. Everybody grew up eating this stuff, right? Okay, this is 190 calories per serving, right? It's two tablespoons, 33 grams, 190 calories per serving. This PB fit, <coughs> PB fit is 70 calories per serving for 16 grams, two tablespoons. So huge difference in calories. Also, this has more protein. This is eight grams of protein and this has seven. So it's only one, but it all adds up. Everything adds up, that's the thing. You, everything adds up if you're counting it. Um, so we're gonna do, gonna use my old PB fit, but I got a little thing in here. Let's do, we're gonna do two servings of that because I want it to taste really peanut buttery. So we're gonna do two tablespoons or 16 grams. So carry your little scale buddy here again. Here we go, carry again. We're gonna do another one. So we're gonna be 140 calories opposed to one serving of this, which is 190, so it's still even under the one serving of this peanut butter, regular peanut butter, regular old creamy peanut butter from Jif. All right, um, so we pair that, we're gonna do another 16 grams. Perfect, all right, now we got 16 grams of peanut butter, we have the xanthan gum, and we have the serving of the fat-free uh, Carb Master yogurt. For all the people that are watching underneath the door, because this is still really weird to record. I had to like hunch over, talk to you like I'm peering through under the door. I still don't know how to do this without making it look like I'm looking or talking to you under a door. So if you have any pointers, let me know. Um, next, we're also gonna add, some sugar-free syrup, all right? 15 calories a serving. Switch your unit to milliliters, because on the back it says, we measure this milliliters. All right, it's liquid. So switch to milliliters, do 30 milliliters. We'll do one serving of this. Hear little tippy taps, that's my little buddy Snickers. Snickers, come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm going to swap it out. Some food is in. All right, thank you, pal. All right. So, now what we're going to do, we are going to mix this all up and get it all that PB fit, all peanut buttery like. Now, remember, we put that xanthan gum in here. So, this stuff is gonna be like cement. Like it really, really gets thick. You'll see. And then we add the syrup in there too, just to give it a little bit more liquid so it's easier to stir. And then you can also add some vanilla e extract. Uh, adds a little flavor. So we're gonna do that too, just add a little dab of this. A little dab will do ya. Just a smidge, smidge. There isn't even calories on this, so there's like zero calorie item. It's like cinnamon or something like that too, where there's like no calories. Like if you look on the back of salt, like salt is any calories. Oh yeah, this is like super duper peanut buttery. This is gonna be really good. Just to see, like, see how thick that got from that xanthan gum. It's like, like it barely comes off the spoon now. All right, here we go. We gotta mix it up here. Okay, so look, look at this. Watch. That's what xanthan gum does. It's like super, super thick now. Okay, so just a little bit of xanthan gum. I probably even put too much in. You probably could use like half of what I even use, and it'll still do this. So that's gonna be like our filler. And then, just gotta cook our French toast. And then we're gonna throw on the sugar-free, I got grape jelly this time, so 
really great jam lovers out there. And all this stuff tastes sweet. It says sugar-free, but it's very sweet. Uh, they use artificial sweeteners. Don't be scared about artificial sweeteners like diet sodas or Crystal Light, all that kind of stuff. That stuff's just gonna help you stay on track and, and help you eat foods that you like to eat. It's not gonna like do horrible things to your body. Um, what will do horrible things to your body is you being obese. That will kill you. Uh, people that have diabetes and um, that, that have weight problems, that is, is caused from being overweight, typically. Not always, but typically. And the majority of the country suffers from that. And it's just because there's so much bad information out there. And I'm not saying I know everything. All I'm saying, I'm an idiot, and I figured this out. So if I can do it, then you should be able to do it too. Like, it's not brain surgery. Like, I'm done. So. Uh, I'm definitely not a rocket scientist, people. Um, so we are going to cook the French toast and put on our spread. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna turn on the old burner here. Burner number two. We're using our zero calorie spray again. A little beep, beep, beep. There we go. Bop, bop, bop. There we go. And it even says on here uh, a serving size for that. So serving size is a third second spray, 0.25 grams. So not a lot of people know that um, food companies, if it's five calories or less, they can put it, put zero on their products. So if you're in the grocery store and you see something that's five calories or zero calories, what are you gonna pick up? Well, I'm gonna pick up a zero calorie, but it's not really zero calorie. So just keep that in mind. They lie to you. They lie to you, they don't tell you the truth, just like everything else in life. You gotta figure it out on your own, all right? So we sprayed our pan and uh, our griddle in this case. So now we are going to put on our French toast. Let's go grab these here. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna throw these on. I have no idea if I captured any of that. Filming and like doing stuff is very hard. So we got one, two, three, four, four pieces of French toast. Those are gonna cook and then we'll be back to put on our spread and the jelly, all right? Thanks again for uh, you know hanging out with me while I make these stupid videos. Um, I did add some more clothing on the website for Adventure Dumb, and also added a page on the website on it, the Adventure Dumb website for Audio Underdog, which is another uh, YouTube channel that I'm also starting. I'll be posting uh, videos, music, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm also a musician. Uh, and, um, you know, this is a, a channel for people that love music, but don't like the corporate aspect of music. So if you're someone that plays at home uh, and like to play, fiddle around on the piano or guitar or just sing or whatever, you're an audio underdog. That's what you are. You know, you didn't even know it. Look at you being all something. You're an audio underdog. And uh, that's the place to go if you want to kind of showcase what you got going on. Um, you can send me a video or a link or whatever and I can post it on that page as well. Also, um, if you have any t-shirt ideas for um, the website as well, I did add the uh, Adventure Dumb YouTube t-shirt ideas. You'll see it's at the bottom, the Audio Underdog and the uh, YouTube t-shirt ideas um, section. You can see them, click on them. Um, I do have clothing for the Audio Underdog. I don't have anything yet in the uh, YouTube subscriber t-shirt ideas. For the four people that are watching, where are your ideas, huh? Come on, think of something. Um, but I'll get around to throwing something up on there too. And you can buy a t-shirt to help support the channel or those channels or me or whatever. You know, just uh, just trying to not have a day job. Right? Right? Snickers wants you. 
buy a shirt or a hat or a button or a patch or I don't have buttons but I have patches just trying to do something creative uh, YouTube is great space uh, to do that uh, I found I could do it on my own terms and uh, it's a lot of fun you know I enjoy doing these videos they're, they're uh, goofy and uh, it's a way to uh, kind of help teach people something too you know who knows maybe you might actually learn something but just a disclaimer for you <laughs> holy cow what's up bud don't listen to me or to Snickers. We're just some dumb guys on YouTube, right, buddy? Right, we're just, oh, oh it's too bright. Don't listen or do anything that I say on here because uh, I'm just an idiot on YouTube. Just a dumb guy, just an adventure dumb guy. Figure it out yourself. Uh, Cross-reference your information, people. More than likely they're getting bad information. That's all I'm saying. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of really, well-educated people that still produce bad information. So just keep that in mind. Like everything in life, just gotta ask why. Why? Why? You'll find the answer eventually. Um, all right, these should be burnt by now. <laughs> Turn that off. Let's see how, let's see how bad we did. Oh no, those are pretty good. They did a pretty good job. So we're just gonna plate these bad boys up. Alright, so now we just gotta put it all together, throw some jelly on these bad boys, and we got ourselves a meal, people. Here we go. Alright, so the last ingredients we're gonna add is our sugar-free jam, our great jam. We're gonna do Let's see here, 17 grams a serving, 10 calories a serving. So just plop your little piece of French toast here. Turn on your little scale, buddy. Zero amount. Make sure you switch it back to grams. Don't forget, don't forget to switch it to grams. Okay, and we're gonna do 17 grams. One piece of toast. Do that again. Rinse and repeat. Oh, see? Forget, almost forgot. Zero it out. Some of you may be like, Eric, why aren't you using a plate? Well, you know, because I'm an animal. I don't really care. I lived in the woods for like a month. I did a long hike for 220 miles it was. And I lived out of a backpack for a month. And I did all sorts of crazy things that you wouldn't want to do. But putting a piece of uh, bread on a scale, that's like the least of the worst things you can do. All right. One more piece. Tear it again. So there is our French toast with the jam on it. And now we just gotta throw on our PB Fit little filler here. And this stuff tastes really good. Give it a shot. Um, all right, let me just be right back and plate this up. All right, so spread out some of this jam, even it out a little bit. It's gonna. Uh, do equal portions, go a little halvesies. Look how thick this stuff is. This is like the thickest peanut butter you could ever think about. And way, way, way more. Remember, this is still less than one serving of two tablespoons of regular peanut butter. All, all of this is what we're putting on here. All the peanut butter flavor, none of the calories, and it's more protein. I'm sure there's so many of you that are watching this that are just completely grossed out right now. But you know what? At the end of the day, if it tastes good and you're able to eat it 
eat it and lose weight and keep eating it, it's something you like to eat. Like I enjoy eating all the stuff that I eat. I'm not like, oh my God, I gotta eat my diet food. It's not my diet food, it's just my food. It's the stuff I eat all the time. I know, I know. People always cry out there, oh, I can't lose weight, or, oh, I hate dieting. Well, don't then. Just change the way you eat. Eat better, be better. Be dumber. The dumber you are, the better you are. Um, all right, so we're just gonna go boop. And there you have it. You got French toast, PB and J. If you want to get even more crazy, you can add another serving of the old sugar-free syrup, which I'm gonna do because I'm nuts. Uh, again, only 15 calories, so got to switch to zero out. I'm gonna do 30 milliliters. Don't forget to change some milliliters like I just did. Zero again. Here we go. Boom. Done. What are you eating for breakfast? You eating broccoli and egg whites and chicken breast and plain old meal with like boring ass stuff? Eat French toast, it's good for you. Eat burgers, they're good for you. Just figure out how to make it better. Look at that. Mm. I don't know about you, but that looks a whole lot better than just having egg whites and broccoli for breakfast or oatmeal. And once again, not a lot of calories, high in protein. Pretend that this is like a chicken breast with broccoli and an apple or something. Just put that in your brain. It's the same thing. Doesn't look the same, doesn't taste the same. It's the same. Might actually even be better. It's more protein and more fiber probably too. But uh, don't listen to me. I'm just some dumb guy on YouTube. I don't know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna do a rundown of what we have here. So. Um, we're looking at the yogurt, 70 calories, 9 grams of protein, that's 170 grams, that's one serving. We have the egg beaters, that's 62.5 calories, 12.5 grams of protein, that's 109 grams. We did two and a half servings of that. Um, our low calorie bread, we have 160 calories, 12 grams of protein at 167 grams total. That's four pieces of that low calorie bread. Um, the PB Fit, not peanut butter. Don't you do peanut butter, you do PB Fit. Don't you do it, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna add an extra 300 calories. Then you're gonna end up eating the whole jar of peanut butter like I do. You don't wanna do that. So the peanut butter is 140 calories, 16 grams of protein, that's 32 grams total. The syrup, uh, we did three or two servings of that, that's 30 calories, that's 60 milliliters, um, 15 calories a serving for that. And the sugar-free grape jam, we have 40 calories, 68 grams, and that's zero protein, there's no protein in that. And then the xanthan gum, once again, be careful with that. A little goes a long way, you don't wanna put too much, it'll be like cement. So. Uh, it's 15 calories, 0 0.5 grams, got to count that, 0 0.5 grams of protein, and uh, 4.5 grams total, because we did a half serving of that, because you don't want to do a whole bunch. So the total meal comes to 567 calories and 50 grams of protein, which is awesome. So that's why I eat it every single day. I'm going to go eat this. <laughs> Uh, if you want to, uh, you know, follow me for more cool tips like this or little uh, little meals that I do, um, you know, join Adventure Dumb. Be a dumb guy or a dumb girl or a dumb person, whatever you are, whatever you identify as. Be dumb with me. Um, I'm an idiot, and maybe you can be too one day. Uh, so thanks again for stopping by, and if you're Adventure Dumb, I will see you on the next one. Peace. Adventure Dawn